friends, Shelly here, the Youth and Family Program Coordinator, and I'm here today to share with you our Bible reading for today from our new Taking Faith Home Toolkit that we're using as an entire church group to learn and practice our faith together every day. So if you have your Bible and you want to read along with me, go ahead and grab it. Um, just as a reminder, our theme for the week is Jesus calls us to be a servant to all. So let's go ahead and go to our Wednesday Bible reading, which comes from Galatians chapter 5, verses 13 through 15. And the reading goes like this. You, my brothers, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge the sinful nature. Rather, serve one another in love, the entire law is summed up in a single command. Love your neighbor as yourself. If you keep on biting and devouring each other, watch out or you will be destroyed by each other. Kind of a shorter reading today, but it sure says a lot about this idea of being a servant to all, I think. Um, that verse in there that says, love your neighbor as yourself. What do you think that means? Does that mean um, you want your neighbor to be nice to you? It could be a friend at school. Um, or if you're one of the adults in our congregation, it could be your actual neighbor that lives next door to you. Um, you know, how do you, how do you want them to treat you? Because that's how they can be a servant to you. And then you can think about that. Well, I would really want to make sure that my neighbor was respectful of my space, let's say. Well, then that tells me, for me to serve my neighbor, I also need to be respectful of their space. So that would be a great idea and topic to talk about with each other. This idea of how do, how do you want others to show you love? And how do you then in turn show them love? So if you have a chance, spend some time with a friend, a family member, someone close to you, and maybe talk a little bit about what that means to love each other as your neighbor. And if you don't have anyone to talk to, you can always jot it down in a journal or a notebook, um, or you can always talk to God about it in your prayers. I hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you real soon.